All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Sorry for being a little bit late there. My internet died like ten minutes before we started, but we're we're good now. Everything should be fine. I think I am gonna turn on some Star Wars music to keep us all occupied, though. Uh, there we go. All right. Well, welcome to episode three of our Stargate Pegasus Chronicles playthrough with the brand new Alliance of the System Lords campaign. So last time we made some progress. We did fail the mission on Trulock, but at least we got the mission. Uh, and we got a notification that we were going to be invaded. We started off the battle. Unfortunately, we crashed at the end, but we can pretty safely assume that they are going to attack us again. And hopefully we will. Yep, there it goes. Hopefully we'll do a little bit better with the with the crashing on that one. But. It's too bad we don't have Thor over there. That would be nice. Okay, let's let's take a look at what we got coming in. We got three system flagships. We got uh, two Anubis Hataks. We have five new Hataks, three old Hataks. So that is 16 total Hataks? Let's, uh, well, I don't know if we'll be able to actually do this, but we're going to try it. Hope you're all doing well this afternoon, though. Okay, last time... We do know we have a preview of the first, like, 30 seconds of this battle. So, last time we did see them... send in all of their... Uh, Is there anything else I can do? All of their fighters and other squadrons just to, to kill us at first. Okay, that one uh, we can see on the map. So we we know we only have one of the system lord ones right now. We want to be able to just fight as little as possible at once. Where is their fighter swarm? Did I mess up by sending these over? Do I need to move back? See, we can lure them in. Okay, let's get all of our ships back this way. Ooh, yeah, that's not me. Just, uh, blow out faster if you can. We don't know where the ones that stealth are going to end up, but if we can just kill this whole chunk of them... Okay, I think we killed most of the fighters that they built. There might be a couple still hanging around. But if we can just jet our way out of there. There's some. And these guys are good anti-fighter. So that's like... 30 of those units just down now? Probably not 30. Okay, now we're gonna see if we can take out some of these guys. There's no... there's actually not many pyramids. So even though these are just fighters, like they might be able to do some damage for us. I'd love to take out the shields on this guy. Then if it runs away, it's only taking up a pop cap. It's not depriving us of anything. But we're struggling to hit it from out there. around. We're gonna start taking some damage on the station. The spread on the fire is making it a little bit hard for us to hit what we want, so it's probably just gonna end up killing that one. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about killing it. 
but it isn't quite our intended purpose at the moment. Let's get the bombers over to that side. I'm gonna try to keep moving the uh, moving our ships in and out, kiting them in and out for shield purposes. Try to focus on other stuff. If we just make them use a bunch of their pop cap for stuff that's not going to live, and that's not going to interfere with the battle, that just puts it more in our favor, and we don't have to worry about it. Especially if we can kill the engine, so if they try to retreat... They got nothing. Okay, there we go. Got the engines on that. This one, you may as well just kill outright. Alright, and we are keeping our station alive. I don't think we've lost any of our actual ships yet, either. Another one of the system lords just came through the asteroid field. The new one... All right, you need to... Nope, you... You... Get behind the base. Everyone turn around there. They're still sending more in. They had a ton. You have, like, no shields left, so get to the back. Gonna make sure that you don't lose your shields either, so you get back there. Okay, now we can pull some of these back up a little closer to the front. They don't have many fighters that we have to worry about anymore. Try to focus on that. You... Okay, this one's not going to live, probably. Bombers are right there. We'll just uh, get that. You can get out. You can get back in. I'm going to try to send the bombers farther away, because they are... Sending in one of the pyramids. Ooh, can I get you out of there? No, you need to. You need to actually move when I press the button. No, okay, fine. Didn't have to, I guess. That was a choice you could make. Everything just pull back to the station. We need the station doing more of the tanking. Because right now, we're just kind of letting stuff get killed when it doesn't necessarily need to. That's just the station damage. Not gonna help. And fighters, we're not getting much out of that. When our economy's that limited, I'd take ship upgrades, or if they were directly fighting the station yet, then I'd take that. But otherwise, we're just spending the money for nothing at this point. so many of the ships. Old 
one more ship to bring in. Dr. Lee speaking. Sir, we have a freight so sorry. I don't have a great sense of how many we have killed versus lost. I know we've only killed one of the System Lord flagships, and they had three of them. Farther away before you start exploding. There's another one coming in. Like there's so many of them that are weak. Thank you, Wicked Steel, for being a member at for 25 months at the Admiral Tier. Very appreciated and very epic. I don't think any of these have enough that we're going to be worried about. The does that even increase the damage against it? No, it's just a straight steroid. Never mind. Fighters and bombers, stick on this guy. There's a non-zero chance they try to retreat after some of this? It will mean, even with our kind of reduced strength, we'd probably be able to get into Ravana. They had like 30 pop of regular units there. But let's just try to kill some of these. They have to come here if they want to do anything. I do want at least the shield gen off this one and then we can turn around. And I won't kill that yet. See if we can lure them into the station. Oh, they do have some of the fighters still. That's all we got. Don't love that. Lost a lot on that run. This is a new release of the Forces of Corruption mod. Okay, we're gonna start coming in. We're gonna have shields back on most of our stuff. Yikes. They just came out and did a ton of damage. Okay, if they're coming in alone on that... We should be able to, to snipe it pretty quickly. We don't have a ton of damage left, though. Okay, that's the shield gen. The engines. Please? If I ask nicely, can you do it? There, thank you. Around on that. This is why I don't want the upgrades, I want the money so that I can try to just heal. Because we have such a limited economy. That hopefully we can try to keep the station alive longer. Okay, there's the two other System Lord flagships. We got nothing else in the reinforcement pool. We're we're stuck with what's on the map right now. Oh shit. Oh well, it had nothing. Not great for next battle, but is what it is for now. 
Okay, let's try to kill this before the other ones get in range again. I don't know if that's going to be possible, though. It does take a while for us to burn through their shields. Okay, I don't think we need to go any further up with our regular ships. I think we kind of just got to let the fighters handle this one. Even though we only have, like, two squads of actual bombers in this. We're still getting some damage off of it. I want to click you. Okay, use the power to weapons. Stop any of their death fighters coming in. Bombers. Do something at least. Yeah, we're probably past the point where we'd be able to get into Ravana. We've had no engines on so many of these ships for so long in this battle. We basically only have been getting out the Hatak and one or two other ships for a while. There's so many of these that are so low, I want to try to kill as much as we can. Yeah, the other one's coming in. There's so many ships that are so low that they have. We're gonna fucking lose our entire fleet! Nothing I can really do. Well, we have one fleet over here, but if we move it, we're getting attacked on that side. And they have a giant fuck ton of other units as well. 25? I guess those are just transports? I don't know why they need 25 transports for four infantry squads. Maybe we'll kill something. We have some money for turrets, but... 
we need to build an entire fleet, and we get a maximum of 1,600 credits, or like 1,100 credits per week. So, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. There were at least three or four of those other ships which were nearly dead, though, too. Well, let's see if anything dies on the way in. Sir. I think so. Okay, let's do we we can try to do something here. So Is this gonna be worth the credits? It's only twenty. Uh what's gonna be anti vehicle? They're gonna kill the structure. There's not really much we can do there. Oh, there it goes. I guess that can't shoot the air units at all. Oh, so they just get XP. Well, that's not happening. That killed ten of them. Tell me about it, Selmac. Missed the notification for that coming in. I don't think we'll even be able to kill one of their ships with this. And I, again, don't want to spend money on the upgrades because it's going to take a hundred weeks to replace any of the units we've lost. I've been building the defensive stations on border planets when I can afford them. It's just, we, you only make a thousand credits per week. And it's not much. I would love to have more of everything, but we don't get more of anything. Dr. Lee speaking. What the hell was that? Maybe with the credit healing, we'd be able to, to kill some of this for the station discount, but that's about it. Oh, did my connection just drop? Might be glad to know you get a better economy later on. I mean, later on doesn't really matter. Once you're at a point where later on matters, it's already later on. You've already knocked their economy down enough. Not that worried about later on if I don't make it later on. We won't be able to do anything about the ground invasion here. This is going to be all of our money gone because this is the only planet where we can build the conveyors. I won't be able to fight that with those. I can't bring this fleet over without getting attacked on the other side either. But I kind of just have to. Yeah, 
I can't just do that straight up with these two. Uh, Puddle Jumpers are not the key to victory, because I am not playing as the Lanteans. I'm not sending in the ground stuff yet. And came it over there to get the station. This we should be able to win. That's all we got. Oh, we don't actually have the defenses here anymore. They destroyed them last time. But it's a level two station, so maybe. If humankind is going to benefit from what we find, we've already got the upgrades here. Be able to study it in controlled no situations. No sign of any Jafar. The extra fighters are helpful. Doctor Lee, speaker, never know what hit him. No, we can do this. They never know what hit him. That's all we got. If humankind is going to benefit from what we find out there, we might be able to study it in a controlled situation. Uh, I can't use the fighters or bombers much right now. I guess they're, I think they're unlimited, so I can try. I'm gonna try to destroy the pyramids first. Then at least our fighters and bombers will last longer. Like, there's no point in telling them to attack something else. Because they'll just die. But if we can take out the pyramids, uh, maybe that's far enough out that you can do that. No, we're just getting surrounded. Okay, I don't think it's functionally possible for us to win right now. Like, I think I have to just go back before the battle and hope we can get out of it with more. Because they took... If they take 117, we have literally no economy. Like, most of our money is coming from this. And then they've just taken two more planets. Like, I, yeah, I, I don't think there's any point trying to do anything different with that. So as soon as we start losing ships at Hectiel, we probably just have to retreat from that. And see if we can kill anything else with it. coming in. I think if we send these now, we'll intercept them. My lord. Very rare. Sir, we have a contact. I'm afraid so, sir. Oh. That's not great. Oh. That's really not great. Try again. <laughs> we'll probably just go straight behind the station and get the station more involved than it was in the last time we did it. Because we were staying pretty far out from it, and it's tanky enough. I was just worried about the bombers stripping anything. Though the... The bomber stripping the stability of the game is possibly what went on there. Oh, 
I'm kind of curious what the build time modifiers on for this. Because, like, the more limited the economy is, the more the same modifiers end up impacting things. So I'm just kind of... Oops. 70... Okay. So if we can do some damage, it should stick. But I'm not sure how much they get the extra economic structures on the planet. I think one of the ones we have already is supposed to give us more structures. But it doesn't, currently. We are on a hard difficulty. I watched most of Stargate. I didn't actually finish it when I was doing my initial watch through. Not because I like didn't want to. I just I'm bad at finishing things. That's part of why I started streaming, so I would like force myself to actually finish things that I start watching or playing. I mean, not watch because nobody watches me watching stuff, but playing. And I guess we'll have to send Hammond to Vorash. Right, it's 16 Hoctil, or Hatox, not Hoctils. It's 16 planets. Very well. I think we can beat them to our station. Very well. Go slightly behind them. And fighters go in front. Well. Figures the one time out of four that the battle didn't crash at the start is the one that would have lost us the campaign had we continued on with it. Fifth time's the charm, though. I'll just start off by moving him into Vorash, because the defense satellites, I think we just need them back there regardless. Okay, move the window again. And let's try again. Thank you, High Lord Shrasu Talon. Very appreciated for the donation. Saying love Thrawn's Revenge. Thank you and the team for making it. Glad you enjoy it. You should also try out Stargate Pegasus Chronicles. But this next take on Hoctil is dedicated to High Lord Shrasu Talon. Hopefully enjoying their time from the one Sith where apparently they, they do get you two. I wonder if, uh, I'll, maybe I'll offer the save to the devs after this, if they want to try to see if they can get anything from the debug log and the crash, if they can recreate it. This has been fairly consistent at the start of the battle. One of the annoying things with Empire at War, like, so Petroglyph gave Empire at War modders the, uh, a debug exe that we can use, and it gives some helpful logs, but sometimes, like, the, the debug build will just happily cruise through an area that's crashing regularly for the, for the regular build, so it can be 
hard to get like super useful data out of it for certain things, but for other things, it saves you millions of hours of debugging. No, you're supposed to stay on the fighters that I told you to attack. Well, five out of six. I think it must be that bomb swarm. Because once we've made it past the bomb swarm, it's been fine. I'm just going to grab a drink. I'll be back in a second while it loads. Lower the particle settings? All right. Would make sense if it's the bombs. Uh... Surprised that didn't crash my... Oh, there we go. Any video settings I change in Empire War do make me crash. That's uh, one of the PC dependent elements of it. I don't have any uh, any satellites on this map. I think it's from the uh, from the gold bombers, Wa'uld bombers. Or more people make fun of me in the comments. Gua'uld. I'll just make it as different from how I'd normally want to say words as possible. It's just uh, an issue with it being an old game tone. DirectX not playing well with newer systems. Okay, hopefully that's still applied. Because it's kind of a crapshoot sometimes. Okay, it worked. Eek, old game. Here we go. Ah, oh, my ear. Linguo dead? I got to use two different Simpsons references in two different lore videos last week. It was a slow week, other than that, but. I was still happy with the overall result there. All right. It is of critical, it is of vital military importance that we send our fighters ahead of the station to take out the, their fighters before the bombing run starts. Okay. Like, I want the Hatak farther back so that it doesn't get dummied by the bombs, but I want it further up so it will dummy other things Is there anything by firing at them. They never know a sign of any Jaffa activity. What are you? Death Glider? That's just a regular... Yeah, that's just a, a regular fighter, right? Very well. And if we're going to be relying on the station... Will this save the amount of money? Ooh. Yeah, why not? We'll get the upgrades this time. 
Like, they stick between battles, but that's kind of reliant on you actually winning the battle, too. Look, it's imp no it's imperative that you not group stuff up in a way that makes it impossible for me to kill your fighters before you come in. Like AI, you don't want you don't want the world where we crash again, do you? Oh, Jeremy. Oh shit. Look, I'm happy for you trying to flank and everything, but, like, beyond wanting my ships to live, it's not good for us. I don't want to live in a Groundhog Day situation for years. God, that just killed so much of our fleet. I'm less concerned, Jeremy, about the tactical ability to beat it with frigates and more concerned about what was happening whenever they'd fire all the bombs at once to the game because that was uh that was causing many crashes in a row Regardless, God, this is fucking terrible. We have no ships left with any hull strength whatsoever. Well, it's not carrier launch fighters that are the problem. It was a giant swarm of bombers that they deployed independently, which deployed on crashing the game. Is everything dead enough that we just leave? Like, are we already at that point? But 
uh, it's been a while since we played KOTOR, or, or not, sorry, since we played TOR, but... The plan is, once uh, Sleverd and Mark and I are a bit more free, we'll go back to that. I think we just got to retreat. Rip. Hey, go back. I don't particularly like using hotkeys in games, especially when recording. For reviewing, it makes it harder to track what's actually going on because no one's actually seeing the mouse move. And for playing, it interferes with my microphone a lot. And it's rarely ever the limiting factor in anything I'm trying to do. That got us basically nowhere. Well, I don't have the money to build anything right now anyways. I'm not sure what I should really be doing right now. Yeah, you've... That... Be able to get the other one as well. But, like, they can attack either of these planets. Yeah. There's nothing we can do about that. Minimum PC requirements to run Empire War mods without hindrance. You're never really going to be able to run Empire War mods without hindrance. Like, it's an old game and it's only able to use a single CPU core. So, depending on the mod, it's still going to run into at least some hitches sometimes. Like, you want to get the highest base speed you can for a processor. Uh, that's going to be the biggest limiting factor. Because, like, modern processor cores aren't that much faster than high-end ones were, like, ten years ago. Because usually, processor improvements have come in, like... Fuck. I didn't think that would do that much fucking damage immediately. Love it. Like, if you can get a processor that's in the i3s, low 4s, for base speed, then that's pretty decent for EAW. Uh, we got one missile satellite. I might need to just reload again. Because I really don't see what we can do at this point. With the amount of waiting we'd have to do to build any ships back up, you will probably just lose. Yeah, all that did was lose us a thousand dollars. Buying the upgrade there. Well, I guess by splitting them up, we're getting something out of it. 
So maybe we'll be able to, to pull this one out. I'd love to be able to upgrade the stations, but again, we get so little money that it doesn't really... It only gets you so far. Send the bombers out there. We lost one of the weapons. We got no money left for repairs. Need to kill whatever's threatening the station most at any given time. to kill that one yet. Maybe with the shields already down on this that can get the bombers in there. And the shield should come back on the main station. Yeah, I might have to go back a save or two to where we can build up the defenses on Hockteal. Because beyond that, they've just been able to go wherever they want in our territory without us being able to do anything about that. Like, if I had a level 2 station and one of the missile platforms on Hockteal, then we'd probably have been able to win that pretty easily. Is this the only one left? Okay. okay, well we can't buy anything elsewhere right now. Kind of just have to hope things don't get sent at us for the moment. We can only hope this will be the last of the way to fall. Uh, I think we need to upgrade Erebus first and try to use ships on the other side until then. I am aware that Hammond makes things cheaper. I have been using him on basically everything we built. We will monitor your progress as best we can. So what I'm kind of hoping here. It's a level 3 station already on Hakteel. Yeah, fuck. And I 
That's way too much for us to fight. Fighters. <laughs> Retreat time is going to take forever. No, with, with the amount of fighters and bombers they have, I'm not risking anything to take this battle. Like, I don't know what else they have in reserve. I don't want to risk sending stuff in and then just getting jumped on. Because this is literally our only fleet right now. We'd have to go and take the 117 fleet first. Plus, my I'd like my computer to work. Cash would kill like any capital ship immediately. I'd love to be able to build fighters without having like no chance of retreat with them. That would be unwise. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we'll be able to get one of the platforms after this week and we're only one more week from the next one they're coming get out of there we're not going to be at the next level beforehand oh they're coming to NTAC as well Only three of each now. Can't do that. I'd be able to win this if we were able to get around. Like, if we can get through here to there, we can get, like, Ravana or Hakteel. We should be able to win this at least. Running planetary scan. Oh, there's everyone. We can only hope that this will be the last. Very well. I'm afraid so, sir. Running planetary scans. Eh. There we go. That should be enough. I am my lord. With the double attacks and with uh, Thor's chariot, we might be. That's what it's called, right? Did I make that up? I think that's a thing. Anyway. We might be able to get somewhere on that fleet. Especially since they've split off some of the Hataks to go to the other planet. Oh, 
Different ship? Okay. I am going to save because it's been an hour without saving, technically. Even though half of that wasn't really progress. All right. Well, there goes all my money. Only a level two station. We've got no defense satellites. They've got two heroes coming in. I, I just don't think we have the money to do literally anything at this point. It's just dependent on when they want to attack and kill everything. campaign is functionally over at that point. <sighs> like, maybe if we have enough time to build other stuff here? What if I also send... X254 is safe. Not likely. I see enemy stuff there. Hopefully this gives us enough time to build more stuff there, but I don't think it will. Maybe if I send the other Octeal over there, or Hatok too. the third time. Spy satellite? No, thank you. Get the missile satellite. I don't think any of the planets around here can reasonably be dealt with. Just SG-1 and... I guess I need an infantry type to be able to do that first anyways.
No, the hero has to be in battle to give a combat bonus. It can't do it from the reinforcement pool. Say, I think I need to just save for the station. Or f even for the silo. Yeah, we're too short on that. I think I need to just get what I can right now. Do I have any infantry over there? I do. I think with the three of them, we can do some raiding. Can you see the structures? No, so I wouldn't get anything out of sending him back. Eight. Okay, they're coming to Erebus. We just have to accept that for now. I probably shouldn't even have sent them. They have two structures, they have a bunch of infantry. Just a single choke point. That is correct, Leo. I too will go. There is another way. I'm on my way. I think we'd be able to Very get well. through this without Indeed. winning the battle. Very well. You have chosen. The yeah, we'd have to life. fight through everything. All at once. But it's not like we'd be using them for anything else right now either. That hill might be a problem for us. Uh, where is Daniel? chosen the location very well okay they have the transports as well there's one why is it so cloudy we don't have any anti-vehicle stuff there i don't think we can even actually shoot them oh no okay we can They deployed some of their infantry on that hill. So... Very well. You have chosen the location very well. We don't have to worry about that, at least. Eh, they can run past. I don't need any landing zones for anything. We lost Jack. 
so we're gonna lose the heroes. So we can destroy the structures even without him, maybe. Chosen the location very well. And that'll be good. That is correct, chosen the location very well yeah if we have the medics available now we'll probably have to start using them if we do raids but i just didn't want to build any new units before this because we're spending all of our money on the extra defenses i'm on my way very well so i just grabbed what we had available on the other planet Well, we got a structure, and now we can die peacefully. No, I don't make this mod, joking. Joker. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. I was feeling sad about not keeping Thor over here. But I was never going to beat that. Not with a level 2 station, at least. Maybe we can try to kill some fighters before we retreat. Like, we're gonna lose the station anyway, so... May as well cost them something. Yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out, Joker. I don't know that I'd say 3,000 credits is cheap. I want to build one on Haktil, but we haven't really had any money to build anything on Erebus in the first place. Osiris is allowed to do whatever she wants. There's, uh... I don't think I have the power to stop her from doing anything right now.
Typically in Empire at War, victories don't really scare off the AI. Uh, they tend to increase the desire to have the planet, or increase the fleet they want to send to have the planet the next time. But if we could actually kill this fleet, then they'd be losing a lot of units. I just don't know if, uh, if we have the ability to make them lose over 20 knocks in one battle right now. kill maybe like three attacks, maybe four. Depends how few they send in at a time as well. Like, until we're at risk of losing ships, there's no reason for us to leave yet. one of the 303s, but that's okay for three or four attacks. Oh, you've just been sitting back. I was wondering where that one went. Yay, they don't want to attack. Thank God. I'm surprised they didn't send any, any of the reinforcements. Like, they didn't lose that much on this. Or they had a ton that they could have used for it. I'm not going to complain. That's, that's really good for us, but... Hopefully we can save up enough to protect both worlds. Uh, okay, they're, yeah, they're going to be low on stuff they can send elsewhere. Twenty eight hundred for that. So we can save him up a little bit. I'm gonna Vorash. This is less than they lost on the first time, because I think we have both missiles that we just saw. Oh, and I am I am adding the super chat uh from Lord Talon to the stream donation goal. I think we are find out there. We have to be able to study it. A seventh of the way there? Situations. For the next single stream Galactic Cong Conquest. Galactic Congress. Okay, if the missiles just split them up, then we're good. They never know what hit them. Dr. Lee speaking. We're still full on upgrades on this. Okay, I I should just keep these back. I don't think we're actually gonna get any damage done on that. sure how long the stream is actually going to go for. Probably still a while yet. I managed to get ahead on some work last night, so I don't have to rush off to do stuff after the stream here. I have to do a little bit, but... Not a ton. Are we missing that? Too bad they didn't send anything at the station yet. Alone. Okay, that's getting closer. So can you actually hit this now? 
There you go. Here we go. Okay. They've at least distracted it enough. Here, can you get the shields down and maybe take a hard point down? May as well focus on stuff that's actually going to die. And I think if these four stay alive, we'll keep the whole crew. I'm not sure what the percentages would be. Shields back on that. It's only one of the Hatoks over there. I think this. I think we can see all of their units currently. So I think that's right. All right, let's go stop that from killing these because I, I don't want to lose our asteroids or our satellites. They're not asteroids. I was thinking of the fucking Clone Wars for a second. Speaking. Ever considered using voice lines from the Skywalker saga in your mud? Uh, I usually don't get too involved with uh, the VO elements. Personally. Honestly, like, my personal preference has always been to not use stuff from even other Star Wars games for it. And only get to that when there's literally no other options that we have, but... Alright, you guys should just come back up here. No matter how many times I say it, it tends to get ignored when people start working on VO stuff, so... Well, we're gonna lose all the satellites, I think. Uh, uh maybe not. Maybe we get on the weapons now, because that's the last of the missile satellites. So that's what I'm afraid of right now. But... Who's the other one? No, oh, they're leaving. No okay. Please don't destroy the missile. Yeah, you don't have any... You don't have any engines. Don't, don't come back to Erebus. Erebus. Azulzu. Problem, Revan? Shreds, you say? Uh, okay, once we have Hakteel up with the... Either the next level of station or the missile silo, we can send him to Erebus. But I don't want to split off before... Have something at least. God damn. 31 including balls. Because he has one, right? Yeah, he has a Hatak. The Al Kesh are much lower in quantities.
I'm afraid so, sir. Maybe they'll get confused by the asteroids and retreat again. If humankind is going to benefit from what we find out there, we have to be able to study it in controlled situations. Get those two. <laughs> No, just please, please sit still. No. All systems are in the green. No, we can do this. Yes, sir. Have that time yet? Sir, we have a contact. Like, chances are they're coming around that side for no, any attacks. So I'm hoping. Yep. You guys stop. They're gonna have an unlimited number of fighters and bombers. Or fighters. I don't know if they spawn any bombers from the. The flagships, or is it just the fighters? Fighters, that's something at least. All right, now let's turn her around. At least I don't think they had any of the higher tier. Like, I think it was just the new and old. I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything about her. Let's try to stay on this side. They're actually coming in from multiple directions now. That's a kill. That's all got. The station's still holding up all right. It's just a speed boost. Where's our bomber? Okay, we've killed like five or six. You have no shields, so you don't have any shields either. They've started getting into the new ones. There's not really a safe place for us to be right now. Okay, let's go up to the north side of this. I was hoping to keep our ships away from theirs, but they came from both directions ultimately, so yeah, now they're jumping in. Let's try to get them away while they have engines. 
And then just have the station do what it can. There. I don't know what's causing that. Maybe something new dropping in? Yeah, I think that's from all the stuff dropping in. Spend the money to heal because we need the money on the station elsewhere. That might die flying into the asteroid field, maybe? We'll kill that one at least. I will heal the hangar at least a little bit. I think we can kill this attack. Old, that's new. No, that's old. what we could. Got more out of it than I thought we could. But it was still only 8 out of 30. <laughs> From there, we can go down to Daytona Beach. If I can get that fleet over and not lose Erebus, that'd be nice. I don't think we need Thor over here. We're almost at the point where we can leave this alone and still be okay. We'll save, though. Like, I think story-wise, there's only two missions left, maybe three. But we've only done, like, two or three. Taking the planet... Multiple staff cannons, serpent guard, nine death gliders. I think the death gliders are the one to probably. Then we can build up more of these planets. I really want Erebus back. Okay, not that building. Did I do the ground space first? Do the ground space first.
Yeah, I'm gonna leave two of these here. Two of those there. You know what? Let's do four. And then I'm gonna move these all over. Hey, well, uh, not great right now. But hopefully we're recovering. They have a massive economy. They still, they don't have that much more, at least Anubis doesn't have that much more than us overall in military. But we don't know how much of this is Anubis versus the other System Lord faction. We are almost at the point where we can upgrade Hoctiel, and then we're done with Hoctiel. You have to go over here. Alright, what did they actually send? What? Just ball? That takes a lot of balls. Well, it, it only took one ball, but... I don't think I'm actually going to build up Lacona as much. I feel like what we're probably going to want to do is take Erebus back and then build up Erebus. Because right now, we'll only need to defend one planet. I have to assume he's going to retreat. I've never seen him actually move in one of these battles, I don't think. He's been in every battle. But I think he's been just stuck at the starting point every time. You Joker. Have a good night. I'm afraid so Like I'd rather have the structures kill him. Because it's safer. And he seems very powerful, but I don't think the AI can move him right now. I think he's, like, not getting added to the tactical free store or something. Yeah, we've, like, juggled shields three times, and he's still... Are you... While he retreats, I will be right back.
Hope you enjoyed the classic chair stream for a second there. I'm honestly, I'm not mad at Ball not dying there, to be honest. He doesn't need to die if the AI doesn't know how to use him. And he's just taking up like seven or eight pop cap in the battles. More power to him. Oh, they're already at level three station there. They're just building so fucking fast. They have all the money in the world. They are building so fast. I don't have any 303s anymore. I need to build more, but I think you gotta go back to Earth. Or no, you gotta go back to Earth. Yeah, it's fine if there's just a station. If Ball's trick is to stay back, do nothing, and take up Pop Cap, hey. Bless him. The station probably didn't cost them any money compared to what they really still have. But I'm glad we don't have to fight it with other units here. He provides the combat bonus, but I don't think the combat bonus is likely to outweigh the, the pop cap that he's taking up himself. Well, we saw the that Anubis at least had fifty five thousand. Unless you mean ten to fifteen k per week. So, like, I'd expect the system lords aren't far off of what Anubis is at least. I obviously, I don't have any hard data to back that up with. I'm afraid so. Sir. 15k per week is basically infinite money, so I guess they're just gated by build time then, which does seem to be quite fast, considering they built a level 3 station, like up to a level 3 station in the time it was taking us to build one ground space cannon. Uh, they're going better than they were at the start, Black Wolf, but... So far, that just means not losing planets rather than making any progress ourselves. Running planetary scans. I'm afraid so, sir. Running planetary scans. Shields up. I'm I shouldn't so have. I shouldn't have killed that unit. Very well. I am surprised to see you. Can only hope that this will be the last. Mm. God damn it, we lost that in the auto resolve. Oh well, that's only two weeks of credits. I wish I had any ground units. It's 
So, like, are the Tari just missing some of their intended economic sources? Dr. Lee I understand it's not meant to be with, like, a huge economy for you as the Tari, but, like, we can do basically nothing with our money. the alpha site to gather money and planets around her. What does that mean? What else can I do with it? Do we have conveyors that I've missed? Is Talana still... Yeah, it's still locked. Yeah, I just don't see how I can reasonably make enough money to do what you... Like, to... Like, we literally just lost Erebus. They got up to a level 3 station and 4 ground structures immediately. Five hundred credits a month is like two infantry squads. Go to Vorash. Like any gains we make, they immediately just they can counteract. I think we just lost. Sir, we have a contact. I'm afraid so, sir. I had some back in the tunnel. You gotta be kidding me. Shields up. Sir, we have a contact. Running planetary scans. Okay, don't auto-path through what's going to kill you. I'm afraid so, sir. Well, it's the other system lords that I'm talking about there that literally just built a level 3 station and 4 ground structures in the time it took me to build one level 2 or one level 3 station without the prerequisites being needed. And that's not even considering the 3 weeks I had to wait to save up the money to buy it. Like as powerful as defenses are, if you're relying on those to win the battles, then you're spending all your money on that. 
and you sure you kill the fleet but then you still have to have something to push back afterwards and then once you've done that it means the money you've spent on the defenses isn't used for anything anymore I'm afraid so sir no sign of any Jaffa activity I'm afraid so sir You need to be over here. Eh. Get up there. At least we got some of the ships out there, and I think Thor's fleet can block them in at Barash. And then they might not be able to invade on ground. Like, Anubis can't invade anymore because he'd have to go through Hoktiel, but we can't take Erebus. I already have an easy time on ground if you have units. It doesn't matter how strong your stuff is if you don't have any of it. I think we can kill most of this. We just don't have any anti-fighters, the problem. We need some 303s still. We kinda just gotta make do with what we have. We killed a few pyramid ships. Uh, no, I can't get back there, and like, I, I can't really take any planet right now. Like, maybe once SG-1 is back, if I can have the medics and, I don't know, maybe the other marines. And maybe I'd be able to raid 367. Oh shit, that's not good. 
There's still people over it. I need to move. Oops. He can retreat. He'll be fine. He's gonna explode. These two exploded in each ship. Earth doesn't give a discount, uh, Hammond does. I'm afraid so, sir. Okay, we'll send them back over to Erebus. Yeah, I think it also says like the headquarters gives money and stuff. I think the documentation may need a pass. We can only hope that this will be the last. I'm afraid so, sir. I am so I do, that is one area where, like, I do think things could be a bit more clear. Like, if they, I, I try not to say, like, oh, other mods should do everything we do, but I think the way we have the documentation laid out in our text tooltips is useful from TR. And I think that could work well. Something like that could work well here. Shit. Well, so much for all that money. There's a week of credits gone. Lead Thor's fleet out here. Maybe I can send these guys over and keep Thor's fleet at Borash. Though we need to take Erebus, so we need Thor's fleet for that. But we kind of need to build up Vorash before we can do that with anything anyways. As long as they don't end up taking Earth back when it's there. They're back to a level 3 station. to bring them back around but if we can get into 367 then wait can I okay I can't start here but I have to do it from one planet over so I need more ash first oh hello Thank you. 
eyes bleed. I am surprised. We to can see only you. hope that this will be the last for where to fall. You never know what hit him. No, we can okay, I think we're gonna make it back. Very sure. Running planetary scan. Sir, we have a contact. I am Thor. Now turn around. Okay, is Osiris going to be too hard for us to kill on that? Uh, I think we can win this. Nope, you need to move back there. You can move up a little bit more. Again, Bald does have a command bonus, but I don't know what the exact percentages on anything are. So, I, I'm not sure if it actually does work out to better with him being just not able to move. But I... They're at least not at the full capacity of what they're their fleet could be at any point. Where's our other attack? It is flying out to the middle of nowhere. Try to track who's low so I can send them further back. I need to try to at least make some use of our station here. is already used on both of you. You can move back a little bit. Move back a little bit. We don't know how much they have in reserve still. I have not been able to keep track of how many are dead compared to how many they had at the start. Yeah, send the Hatox with Thor so he's not just doing this on his own. Okay, they're getting out with Ball. I think we lost two or three ships there. They lost a lot. Oh, shit. Yes, we got the engines on that. Yeah, we lost two. We killed a lot. I really want to be able to use those guys to take Erebus, but can't really do anything about that right now.
The thing is, even though that looks like a big victory, we still lost four weeks worth of credits out of that. And they're going to replace it pretty quickly. Okay, it's just ball here. Shields up. I'm afraid so, sir. Well, I'm hoping from Vorash we'll be able to gate into a few of the surrounding planets and maybe do stuff there. God, Paul is just gonna wreck that. Okay, are we in range to do this? Power to weapons, hopefully with the power to weapons, with the focus. So there, he can't use the shield ability now. God, fuck. Is there anything else there? there? Attack now too. Only for Ball to respawn. God damn it. Sad. One of our top three ships. Honestly, I'd rather... I'd rather we still have the Hatak and they still have Ball than... At least now we can try to take some of these other planets, potentially. I don't think it's worth, honestly. Okay, let's see if we can take that. Found evidence that Ball escaped and joined Anubis before we were able to destroy a ship. Okay, will he not come back for the System Lords and stay with uh, Anubis now? If so, then that's possibly worth it, because they can only come in through Hawk Teal, which is... Probably more defended that they can deal with. Infiltration is the best option on you. I'm on my way. Okay, I remember trying this last time and we got demolished on this cliff. Very well. Alright, if he's only with Anubis, then that is worth it. I've chosen the location very well. If he had been just on a regular respawn timer for that faction, oh, no, then... Oh, you guys stay back so you can heal SG-1. No! No, no, no. 
Infiltration is the best option on you. I'm on my way. Fire. Very well. Enough time enough. I don't think there's any planets that we can really take by raiding. And they're dead. The chariot will help against infantry, but it won't do anything against the death gliders. Shields up. Running planetary scan. I'm afraid so, sir. Sir, we have a contact. Is this a level four station now? Yeah, there's one good Halo mod, but it's only Ground Skirmish. Okay, we just need to build up a ground force to take Erebus. Retreat soon. I'm not gonna auto resolve this time. He lost to 304 for that last time. Shoot it. Don't shoot it. They're gonna cancel. They're gonna cancel if you if you shoot it. Let him go. Okay, thank God.
Yeah, Sins has a ton of different uh, franchises that mods have been made for. The good game. We have a mod for it as well. Which are the units we're looking for? Okay, we're going to build Borash up as quickly as we can. much as it's going to cost us 50 credits, I am going to spy on Erebus. 75, rather. see what they have on the ground there. Like, SG-1 is really good, but I don't know if it's, like, full 4 pop of very good. They have a full 10? Yeah, shit. I need some anti-fighter with that main fleet. I haven't loved our vehicles other than the air support we can get. But maybe we'll have better luck with them now. They do take forever to build, though. Well, maybe we'd be able to take the planet with what we have there now. We really need the planet. We need Erebus. I'll wait for the other fighter. My favorite pizza place? Uh, most places in St. Catharines or Niagara Falls are good, but I live in Ottawa now, so there's only one that's even like slightly good called New York Pizza. I guess Toppers is all right, but where I live unfortunately has terrible pizza. It's all like Montreal or Lebanese style, so it's like the thicker stuff, which I do not like. I prefer like New York style. But no one in Ottawa likes that, so no places actually make it.
How are we doing on military strength? Okay, and who's is at least not building too much. I don't know how many planets they actually have. Let's check that. Okay, they have fewer than us. I'm afraid so, sir. If we can take Erebus, I'm going to feel much better about our position. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done... I, mean, I guess that's not true. I made like four for New Year's and then one after that. So, I can't say I haven't made pizzas in a while. We don't have SG-1, but we do have our own Stargate team. If we lose this battle, I'm just going to scum. With how punishing mistakes can be compared to the information you have available, I'm not particularly going to feel bad about saves coming. You hear something, Harper? I'll clear for the moment. Let's see if we can get there. I think we determined last time we can't. I'll clear for the moment. And one of the first times I made pizza for anyone else, I had some friends over. It was in my last apartment where everything was shit. You got it. And the you hear something, Harper? I was like preheating the oven before they got there, but my oven stopped working. So it would claim it was on and then it would just it just didn't heat anything up. So when they got there and I put the pizzas in, we were waiting like I checked after like 20 minutes and it still didn't seem to be cooking. It would get I'd set it to like 400, 500 degrees and it would only get to 100. They would like max out at that. No sign of any Jaffa activity. So it turned into a mushy mess and we ended up having to order pizza after waiting for like three hours for them to. No sign of any Jaffa activity. Sir? They ended up more like slightly solidifying than cooking. It was disgusting. No sign of any Jaffa activity. Well, they had a ground to space cannon here, and they no didn't seem to Jaffa use it when we were in space. Oh, that's dead. Sir, you got it. Sir, with your permission. Sir, with your permission. You got it. You got it. I'm strongly considering you got it. some cheese. How much did I even get from that? Sir, with your permission. What the fuck? They spawned outside of the area. Like, if we can safely get to this zone every time, we can get as much money as we want. We're not on her. Don't you worry, boys. Roger that. I think so. I think so. Okay, we'll take point. No, we can't do this with this. We need more units, and we need fighters.
Like, cheesing the mine could get us a lot of money quickly as far as in-game time goes. Because you could just keep, yes, keep doing it. And I'm pretty confident we could get to it without losing anything either time. But in terms of, like, real-life time, it would take a while. One more FBO2 on ground. Okay, we have SG1 back. That is what I want most. Both more is we got. I'm afraid of how many death things they had. I guess I don't remember how many they had. That's UAV again. Like, there's a non-zero chance they decide to attack Erebus while I'm doing this, so I need to be quick. Okay, they only have one Death Glider. That's two ground to space cannons for the structures. We have a ton of ground units. So they aren't going to get that much from garrisons, it's just going to be a lot of real units to start off with. And I think it makes most sense to go for that middle reinforcement point. Does Selmak have... ...other units with him? No. Need more marines, and I think we're gonna get... 302. All right. They never know what hit them. No sign of any Jaffa activity. No sign of any Jaffa activity. No sign of any Jaffa. Do we get any kind of like aerial transport no or anything? Activity. Even an aerial no deploy thing, Jaffa or is that? Not happening. Much more on my stream? At least a little bit. No sign of any Jaffa activity. I should probably stop no at five. My time. So no that's half an hour from now. Activity. No sign of any Jaffa activity. No sign of any Jaffa activity. Yeah, like this map would be super easy no for the gold. Colonel, we can do this. No sign of any Jaffa activity. No sign of any Jaffa activity. No sign of any Jaffa activity. Stargate nope. secure, sir. Roger that. That was a complete waste. No sign of any Jaffa activity. All secure here, sir. Whenever Don't you're you ready. Worry, boys. Never know what 
get them. Get our money. Okay, but this bring us to six or eight. Okay, so we can bring in SG1 and the paramedics then. Which hopefully is going to be enough to get us to the next landing zone. We know most of their structures are around there. up with this one as well and are they gonna be on this one maybe no okay and we can has their stuff. We might be able to destroy all these structures before they get back around. Get that before they get another one in. What's On three. Can't really see too much of what's going on. I'm gonna assume that's a good thing. Okay, there's more infantry sneaking around behind us there. At least this was all of the, like, in-base ground structures, so all the ones that are going to be useful for them in this battle. Is he even casting it? Doesn't look like it. Oh well. Better idea. Yeah. Oh, we need to kill that before they get lost in there again, like last time. Hmm. Thank you, Dimension. The twenty dollar donation saying excited for the inevitable expansion of this uh, mod set. Oops, all Ori. Very controversial. I feel like I'm obligated on behalf of their mod team to say that they're... Everything I have seen is adamant that there is no Ori. Very appreciated. 
Okay. Uh, they can't have that much left, right? Not many units? You gotta be kidding me. And then I'll feel much better once we have Erebus and since we have, like, the money to... to build it up more. You gotta be kidding me. I don't understand. They never know what hit them. Yeah. Okay, I think the final structure is over here. Are you kidding me? It's probably Ori or some shit, but I don't care. I don't understand. It's not my problem. No sign of any If Matlock doesn't have to pronounce their names properly, neither do I. Bye bye units. Oh hello. That's a lot of stuff there. I didn't see those, I only saw the other one. It's not great. That's not great. See Black Wolf. I didn't think they'd stay clustered at that place. I don't think any of those units moved since the start of the battle. Probably why we never saw anything anywhere else. Oh, we didn't even fucking get the... Now they're gonna build stuff on it again. And the structure's back! I'm so happy! I love it! I'm not at all frustrated by that! I don't think that's them grouping things. I think that's where they spawned and then they just didn't move them. Was this after the battle? Yeah, it was. Well, I guess we're doing it again. Wait, I shouldn't have sent fucking SG-1 on that. Like, I think they're not getting added to the free store the same way that Ball hasn't been. By then it would be too late. That is correct, Leo. I too will go. There is another way. I am on my way. Very well. Just, uh, okay. through my pack. I believe a medical attack will be successful. But if they do that again, then what is an Obra? That's that means we don't have to worry as much about the actual See, base assault. Very well, you have chosen the location. Very if they well. don't do it again, which it looks like those might have come from over there, maybe right, not. Be too late. That is correct. All right, two will go. I am on my way. Very well. 
Okay, you guys pull up a little bit more. Infiltration is the best option. Then we will get the mortar unit here and the snipers there. Many have said that. Where's... Oh. Where are you, Jack? Don't auto-cast that. I got just... Okay, let's get the other structures first. Jack. That one. Like, knowing they're not going to send any of their units over here, I'm not going to get lured into a false sense of security that the map is empty once the structures are down, and that I just miscounted how many units they had. I just know we can take these. You need to make sure those are dead. at least down I'm on my way. they just killed all the other infantry that I've been landing there Colonel Jack oh, yeah. all right. let's get that the rest of you creep well. down a little bit They are neat looking structures. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Do we have a problem here? No sign and of we want another F302. I'll clear for the moment. I'll clear for the moment. No sign of any Jaffa activity. No sign of any Jaffa activity. Okay. No oh, of take off. Okay, these might all explode, but I think they might be clustered enough that they won't. Yeah, we're starting to see them. They never know what hit them. 302s, go for that. Bombers on the ground. Let's start moving these guys in. Don't waste your ammo on that. I think these are all Serpent Guard? No. I mean, the Serpent Guard... Your newest card might be all that's left. Yeah, okay. I think we got it now. Shit. Run away. Damn it. Very 
You have chosen the location very well. Oh no, infiltration. Oh, gosh, by then it will be too late. Many have oh, we've lost SG1 again. Okay. Now, uh, even with that, we should be able to just kill these. And is that it? Almost. Nothing else. I really wish they'd retreat when there was nothing. We got all the structures. Oh, there's signs of Jaffa activity. There we go. Lost a lot on that, but at least we got the planet back. Okay, we are two hours and 48 minutes into the stream. We are back where we started. Though maybe slightly better because we can defend stuff now. No fleets incoming at Erebus. Please, for the love of God, no. We literally just got the planet back. Be able to hold this. I am the supreme commander of the Asgard. Go back there. Yes, sir. So I am. You guys there. Shields up. Running planetary scans. They never know what hit them. Okay, can I suggest they have a strategy of flying through the asteroid fields? Is that a thing they are willing to do for me? Does not look like it. actually do any damage to Osiris reliably. Yeah, she's still got all of her shields. Okay, don't get pulled away. Probably gonna end up losing a ship before they do. Okay. Uh, 
We have enough money that we can heal for a while. I need Thor to handle that on his own. Okay, just focus on Osiris and see if you can actually kill her. Don't get pulled around like you have been, units. I think Osiris is dead. Thor should be able to handle this side on his own. In our attack. There'll be one down there. Later's on that. Thor, move in, because you can kill both of these on your own now. Get it away from there. That's the third and final of the command ships, I think. Let's see if we can send Thor towards it. The rest of our fleet should be able to kill stuff on the way. Hey, Seldrin, this is a new version. The new Galactic Conquest. Okay, fighters go to the other side then. Okay, now we can start moving towards this side together. I do need Thor to kill this one though. Yeah, this is the one I wanted these fighters to chase down. So that's good. You guys, don't go too far up. Thor, get up to that, and the fighters I am going to send after this system ward. If it goes far away, there we go. Your power weapons out. There's still another system or flagship down there, actually. victory for us. Did cost a little bit of money to repair. We've got more of them coming in. I wish the system lords were destroying each other more. Technically, like, if you want to count our captured one as them destroying each other, you can, but... It'd be it'd be nice if they only attacked each other. They just took each other down a lot and then left me free to do whatever we want. I am very well, Supreme Commander of the Asgard fleet. That would be unwise. We 
can only hope that this will be the last one of my fall. Good luck. We will monitor your progress as best we can. Colonel, we can do this. Sir, we have a contact. We got him! Yeah, without Thor, we'd just be absolutely fucked in this campaign. That would be unwise. But... I haven't noticed any notifications of them attacking each other, the system lords. For a while. We did see a bunch of it earlier, but... We lost to BC-304. That was a big fleet for them. Unfortunately, they're not on the chart, so we can't see what the actual relative power of any of them are. Bring that Shulok. It's free. Hold on. We're taking more planets than Anubis is, at least. Let's see what's at Delmac. I kind of feel like Delmac might get bypassed. 52. On my way. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, at least we know there's not too much in the area that can hit us. Well, right now it's ground stuff that we're going to be lacking on. Barracks isn't too expensive. You can get most of that here. But I'm waiting on the... Additional structures, because we want to get up to level 3 or 4 with Erebus before going anywhere, and we also want the ground of space weapon. They're heading to Vorash. Alright, well, I think before they get to Vorash, we're going to save and we're going to leave it there for today. It's been three hours. I got to start making dinner. So, hope you've all enjoyed. We will be back on Sunday on the Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash Cory Loses. Playing Frontlines, another Star Wars mod. Another Star Wars mod for a different game. We're playing Company of Heroes with Star Wars. Uh, there may be something else this weekend. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but other than that, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And hope you